Hello, today we are going to explain the relationship between linear and angular velocity and linear and angular acceleration. We will derive the equation for angular velocity and angular acceleration. Let's begin with the equation of angular displacement. We have already derived this equation in our previous video. We know that angular displacement s is equal to r theta, where r is the radius and theta represents the angle. Divide both sides of this equation by t. We will get s by t is equal to r into theta divided by t. Here on the left hand side, s by t is linear velocity, while on the right hand side, we'll get r into theta by t, where theta by t is denoted by omega and is known as angular velocity. Linear velocity is equal to r times angular velocity. Further solving, we will get angular velocity equals linear velocity divided by r. Similarly, in the differential form, you can take derivative of this equation with respect to time ds by dt, this will become linear velocity v is equal to r times angular velocity. Further solving, we will get angular velocity omega is equal to linear velocity divided by r. Now let's derive the equation for angular acceleration. We have already derived the equation for velocity now, let's divide both sides of this equation again by t. So we will get v by t, which is equal to r omega divided by t. So here v by t is rate of change of velocity with respect to time, which represents the acceleration, while on the right hand side, omega divided by t is the angular acceleration and is denoted by alpha. Similarly, in differential form, take derivative of this equation with respect to time, which will give us linear acceleration equal to r time angular acceleration. Further solving, we will get angular acceleration, alpha is equal to linear acceleration divided by r.